So for today's episode, we'll be talking about my career path and why I chose it. I'm currently pursuing a PhD in international trade and why am I doing this degree? Well, I'm doing this degree because I wanted to learn more about the markets, about foreign trade, about imports and exports, about um, foreign direct investment and how um, economies around the world operate. So that's why I'm doing this course. So, another question is, why would I encourage ladies to study my course? All right. You know, ladies, you are the driving force of the economy, you know, and the economy is what makes a country. It what It's what makes, you know, the continent. And, you know, as Bogotas, right, and as Bumfazi, you know, um, when we have that knowledge on how to run an economy, you know, we, we actually are able to strengthen it, you know, we, are, we actually have the knowledge to know how to operate it in order for it to become, you know, something big, something booming because of women. So that's why I would advise women to learn more about the economy. That's why I would advise women to, you know, study international trade because they would have so much knowledge, they would gain so much knowledge on how different economies work and this would actually be a driving force for the South African economy to thrive. The challenges that came with this course is that I had to study Mandarin first when I came and after getting my HSK4 certificate then I enrolled to do my master's in international trade at Shanghai University and then after that I graduated and then I enrolled to do my PhD in international trade at the same institution. And the obstacles that come with it is that, you know, um, I had to make sure that I have to study a lot. I have to do a lot of research because the topic that I'm doing at the moment, you know, it's a new topic. So I have to make sure that I'm in the loop with what's going on around the world. So I make sure that I know what's happening. I make sure that my ears are always on the ground with regards to um, energy efficiency and industrial restructuring and how they all cooperate and collaborate with regards to international trade. Um, and how am I coping with the COVID-19 pandemic? Well, my best friend and I decided to travel. So we've been traveling for three months now and we are currently in Langhawi. And this time has gave me, you know, time to reflect on who I really am. And I also discovered a hidden talent, um, which is art. So now I'm painting and I'm focusing more on myself. I'm meditating and actually trying to figure out who Vuyelwa is. Well, I love my name Vuyelwa because it means to bring joy. It means to bring happiness. And that's what I intend to do. You know, I intend to help as much as I can. And I, I intend to bring a positive change to whoever I have encountered in life. So yes, that's my cosmic way of giving back to the universe. Oh, I am based in China, but my friend and I, my best friend and I, we actually decided to travel out of China. And um, we went to um, Malaysia first, we were, we were in Kuala Lumpur for two weeks. And then after that, we changed and went to Bali for two weeks. We had the time of our lives. And then when we were ready to go back to Shanghai, so our connecting flight was in Kuala Lumpur, we were told we could not go back. So we've been here and we decided to go to an island. And so we've been on this island for over a month now. And yeah, it's been quite an adventure. The advice I'll give to the ladies is that Choose yourself first, choose yourself in everything that you do because you belong to you before you belong to the world. Uh, 
clap for yourself, pray for yourself, love yourself, and everything will be reflected in the universe, your victory and your success. And everything will just make a way. So love yourself first and be true to who you are. Love and light. Oh.